Wali, Wali Muhammad. I'm the founder of Our Hope for the Homeless. Our Hope for the Homeless is a nonprofit organization that's helping homeless families, kids, young adults on the streets. This program is designed to show young adults how to get out here on their own and make it, how to get out here and be successful, how to get out here and succeed. Our program is designed to help as many people as possible how to get out here and do something that actually benefit our lives. I started the business February 28th of 2008. I started because I got tired of watching homeless families, you know, living on the streets. I got tired of watching homeless shelters get the money that they got, the government grants and all stuff like that. Get to where they are and then quit. How can you quit on people's lives? How can you quit on people? It is hard every single day watching young, young adults dealing with drugs, dealing with crime, dealing with alcohol every day. I go on the streets and I collect money from different events. St. Paul, Minneapolis. At the Twins game, the Minnesota Wild, the Minnesota Vikings, the Minnesota Swarm. All these type of different events, concerts, and I asked three words: little help for the homeless families, or care to help homeless kids. A lot of people pass by, looking at me like, "Oh, it's a scam. He's stealing from homeless families and homeless kids." Standing for the police, police donate to the program. It is my goal to help people. I know how to do this business because I've only for two years living on the streets, every day going back and forth to temp agencies, trying to find a job. Nobody would take any interest in what I'm doing. I'm doing this program because I believe it's right. I know that it is hard to see people on the streets struggling. I know it's hard to see people on the streets that don't have the money to pay their rent to do all sorts of different things like that. I've done it because I know how hard it is. Let me ask you a question. You told your child to this day, no, no thank you, not interested, not today. And did he go on the streets at 18, 19 years old? And did he see somebody that out there doing wrong, selling drugs and things like that? You honestly think that person will say, no, I'm not interested, not today, no thank you? Now, a drug dealer would always see your child, yes, yes, and I never know, always yes, because he wants him to do the same thing he does. How can we stop our drug dealers from selling drugs to people who basically, who want some of their lives? We teach our kids about homelessness, teach our kids about being out here, teach our kids every day, every single day. If you teach them to succeed, you will always succeed. My problem, when I go out there, I see people struggling. And I know I can help them, but I'd rather turn around, take my dollar, and give it to the bongo man. Or give my money to, you know, somebody who I know is selling drugs. And why would I do that? Why would anybody do that? I started this business because I know I can do better than a lot of the shelters out here today. I've done better than a lot of the shelters out here today. I don't have a 501c3. That's a tax exempt status that actually get your money back at the end of the year, but I'm working on getting it. I don't sell tickets at di different games. I don't sell drugs. I don't steal. I don't rob nobody. I do what God expects me to do. He puts you on earth for a reason. My calling is to help homeless families. My calling is to help homeless people. People say, well, why are you out here helping people? If, you know, they should get a job and do something like that. Well, you know, it's hard. Getting a job nowadays is really difficult. I want to do something that was never done in St. Paul, Minneapolis. I have a five-year plan. My five-year plan is to actually get a homeless shelter, about the, basically about the size of the XL Center. 
if everybody had an opportunity to do something with their life, we would all be doing it. If everybody had an opportunity to, to make it, we would all make it. It is hard. It's hard seeing people passing by telling you, no, I'm not interested. No thank you, not today. People turn their nose in the air. People in suits. There's a lot of people out here who deserve a chance. Really all people deserve a chance. Not just some, all. How can we make it? We make it by being productive. By being a role model. I want to thank the Big Brothers and Big Sister program for actually getting out here and being a role model. It 